Hi, fourth grade, and welcome to another lesson. Uh, today, we're working on lesson 32, and our objective is to interpret and find whole number quotients and remainders to solve one-step division word problems with larger divisors of 6, 7, and 8. So we know from our multiplication tables that 6, 7, and 8, uh, and 9s, it's a little more difficult. So our, our division's going to be a, a little bit more challenging tonight. And we're going to have remainders in many of our problems. So we're going to see what the tape diagram looks like when we have a remainder and how we can still use that to display our thinking and solve these division problems. Let's get started. Okay, so for our problems, our directions are solve the following problems, draw tape diagrams to help you solve. If there is a remainder, shade in a small portion of the tape diagram to represent that portion of the whole. Number one says, Manika bought a package of 435 party favors to give to the guests at her birthday party. She calculated that she could give nine party favors to each guest. How many guests is she expecting? Okay, so in this case, we know the number we're going to be giving to each group, but we don't know the, the number of groups. So we're going to solve for that. And to get started, I'm going to use a, a tape diagram. And I'm going to draw my tape diagram here. And because I know the number, not the number of groups, um, I'm going to draw a few squares here, and each person who comes to the party is going to get nine. The question is, how many people is she expecting? So let's go ahead and do the division. 435 divided by nine. We have our larger uh, divisor here, so it's a little bit tougher. We've got to know those nine multiplication table facts. So here we go. Nine times what? I'm going to ask is going to get me close to 43. I look at the four. Nine won't go into four, but it will go into the first two digits, 43. And I know nine times five is 45, and that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to go back one and say, well, 9 times 4 is 36. And do my subtraction. When I do that, I'm going to have 7 left over. I can go ahead and cross out and borrow. Um, I can count up. Whatever strategy works best for you. I have 7 left over, and I just check to make sure that this 7 here is smaller than my divisor. And it is, so I can go ahead and bring down the next digit here, and then again, how many times does nine go into now 75? And I know that nine times eight is 72. So I'm gonna subtract that out, and I have a remainder of three. So I'm going to shade in a small area at the end of my tape diagram. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, label that there, that that's a remainder of three. And I know that the, the total here of the tape diagram was 435. So I ended up with a total of 48 guests. So I should probably write that out in a statement. Okay, and there it is. Uh, Manika is expecting 48 guests. She has three party favors remaining. All right, let's move on and let's try a, a little bit different problem. So here we go with this problem. It's a little bit different. We start off with the same directions and we have 4,000 pencils were donated to an elementary school. 
If eight classrooms share the pencils equally, how many pencils did each class receive? So in this problem, we know that one, there's 4,000 pencils and we're gonna divide that, but we know the number of groups. We know that we're gonna divide that into eight groups and we need to divide it equally among the classes. So this tape diagram is gonna look a little bit different. Uh, let's go ahead and set that up. And we're going to have eight classrooms and the question is, how much does each classroom get? My total is 4,000 pencils. And now I need to go ahead and set up and do my division problem. All right, so I have 4,000 divided by eight. So the first thing I do is look at my first digit and eight won't, I can't divide eight into four or I can't distribute four evenly into eight groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the 40, the first two digits here. And 40 I can distribute evenly into eight groups and I will have five in each group. 5 times 8 is 40, and I have nothing left over. I bring down the next digit. Um, it's 0, so I have nothing to distribute. Uh, so 0 times 8, 0. Uh, again, uh, there's nothing, and I bring down my other 0, and nothing to distribute there. Again, I'm going to put a 0 in and just kind of going through the standard algorithm there, going through the pattern, even though there's nothing else to distribute, um, I can look at that and just put the zeros in after the five. I know that's gonna be 500. So in this case, there's no remainder, so I don't need to shade any part of the tape diagram. I know that each classroom, each group is gonna get 500 pencils, and I can go back. We did not on our last one, but we can go back and just double check our answer. We should be in the habit of doing that. So let's take a look. Uh, 500 times 8, and 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 0 is 0, and then 8 times 5 is 40. So, or, and we know that's 40 hundred, so my answer, 4,000. It matches the dividend. And now I just need to write out a statement answering the question. Okay, and there you go. Each class will receive 500 pencils. So those are examples of two types of problems you'll encounter uh, tomorrow in class. Review this. Try a couple out on your own from the practice sheet I gave you, and then be ready to do some work tomorrow in class. We'll see you then.